This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Rotate and spinning. Rotation and spinning. Using the counter pattern on a sprite's rotation property can make it spin around. Do this. Use the counter pattern with the pan sprite's rotation property to make it spin as the image on the right. Let's check out. Oh, we have a pan not moving. They have a pan moving. All right. Now remember, the counter pattern is when you take a variable and add to it. So what do we want to do? We want the pan to spin. Now, if I just grab sprite.rotation and, you know, drop it here, maybe, this isn't going to work, right? So we don't have a sprite. We have a pan. So, hey, computer, make the pan rotate um, 90 degrees. Well, let's say it running. Whoop. You see how it did there? It did rotate, but just once, right? Boom. It flipped around, but just once. It sticks there. Okay, well... Obviously, you need it in the draw loop, right? Sure, because this runs 30 times a second, and it's how we animate things. Wait, it's not moving yet. And that is because 30 times a second, I'm telling the computer make a uh, make a green background. The pan's rotation is equal to 180. Draw the sprite. Make a green background. The pan's rotation is equal to 180. Draw the sprite. This This would be the same thing as, or this is just like saying 30 times a second. Green background. The pan is... A foot long, draw the draw it, draw the sprite. Green background, pan is a foot long, draw the sprite. Right? We're not changing anything. We're just always saying rotations at one eighty forever, right? Or pans at one foot forever. We just say it thirty times a second. We need it to change. How we do that is we take the pan's rotation property and ask the computer to make the pan's rotation equal to the pan's rotation. And it looks like this might be, no, I think it's positive. Uh, we want pans.rotation to be equal to pan.rotation plus one or two or something. And what should happen is 30 times a second, we're asking the computer, we're telling the computer, hey, draw the screen background. The pans rotation has a new value. What is it? It's going to be equal to whatever the previous rotation was, which would just be the default. So probably zero, what the pan was originally. So zero plus one, boom. Pan rotation is now equal to 0 plus 1. Draw the sprite, and it slaps it on the screen. We at the bottom of our loop go back to the top. Background pale green. That paints over everything, so we don't see the old pan. We hit this, and we say, okay, pan.rotation has a new value. Okay, well, what is it? It's equal to the old pan.rotation. Well, we just said that was 1, so 1 plus 1 is 2. So the new value for pan.rotation is 2. Okay, draw that sprite, and it draws it, moved over a little bit, rotated a bit. Hit the bottom and it goes whoop, blank out everything on the screen. It's all green. Pan dot rotation has a new value. What is it? The old value was two. Two plus one is three. Draw it again. And it goes so fast, 30 times a second, that it appears to be moving, hopefully. But, uh, pretty cool. Onward.